You know, subhanAllah. I don't like to attack Muslims. I really don't. I don't want to attack Muslims. I want to work with Muslims. Really, I want to work with Muslims. And as far as I'm concerned, this deen encompasses a lot of different opinions. And one of the beauties of this deen, unlike other religions, is we don't have one fixed opinion that if you don't follow it, you're, you're out of the pale of the teaching. We don't have... Uh, uh, no, we have broad, broad... Our way is a mahajja. Mahajja in Arabic means a broad road. A clear, broad road. Mahajja. Taraktukum ala mahajja tarbayda. Layluha kanahariha. La yazigu anha illa harik. It's so wide that if you deviate from it, you're, you're finished. Because it's, it's pits on both sides. It encompasses a lot. We don't make takfir by, by even the ulama. If you study, uh, you know, fiqh, which people don't, if you study ahkam al ridda you know, there's ahkam related to calling somebody a kafir. There's rules. If you don't know them, you better shut your mouth. You better shut your mouth. Because the Prophet said, whoever calls a Muslim a kafir, one of them's kafir. And that's in Sahih Muslim. One of them's kafir. So if you feel so secure in your iman, that you can go around and afford to call other Muslims non-Muslims, then good luck. Good luck. I wish you the best. So we have to do something. We really do. Don't, uh, and I'll tell you something, the people of this Dean Intensive, because this is one of the strategies that, that a group of brothers conceived as an attempt to start educating Muslims in some fundamentals, some basic uh, fundamentals of Islam. That's all, that was our intention, just to kind of cut through a lot of the confusion and just let's look at what our dean teaches us. Let's look at it. And so that's one of the things we did. But my, I, I, they, they invited me here and said we want to do a fundraiser to help you in some of the activities you're doing and also to support some of the brothers overseas in Syria. I did not request that. And as far as I'm concerned, give your money to whoever you want. Give it to whoever you want. I'm not necessarily asking for it. There's other brothers and sisters that are doing activities. Al-Aqrabun Awla bin Ma'ruf. The people in Toronto, they have more right to your money than I do. But give your money, support activities, be rejoice when a new masjid opens, when a new madrasa opens, when people start coming into the scene, because they're coming in now. I, I'm, I'm seeing this. There are people coming into this dean now and we have to be able to accommodate those that we have and to accommodate those that are coming in because it's happening. We have a crisis in the American prison system because we have so many Muslims. I was there not that long ago and I gave a talk. Six people became Muslim, said Shahada after it. Uh, one of the sheikhs that we brought from Mauritania, our community, went and gave a talk and ten people become Muslim. One of the brothers, Askiya Muhammad, who uh, is the head of the Governor's Commission on Drug Abuse and a Youth uh, Authority uh, speaker, went to the Youth Authority, gave a talk. Forty men under the age of 18 embraced Islam after his talk. Forty men. Well, what are we going to do? Because it's not just saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There's all of this stuff suddenly that we as a community are responsible for these people. And now there's people at the intellectual levels that are getting interested in Islam. There's people at, really, it's happening. And there's a point where it's going to reach critical mass. It will, because this is the deen of Allah. And we have a promise from Allah that it will complete its life, that it will be in every house. It will be in every house, Islam. It already, in a sense, is that's already starting to happen because Islam is the hot topic. And they're scared. And the only people that are scared, like uh, Malcolm used to say, are the wolves that want to prey on the sheep. Because Islam is about protecting the sheep. It's about protecting the weak from wolves. So those are the people that are worried. And they, they put fear in the hearts of the sheep because they want to eat them for lunch. And the wolf eats the one that strays from the flock. So when the Muslims are united... We don't have to worry about wolves. And the only thing that I've ever seen in the history of Islam that's united us is knowledge. When there are ulama to guide us, when there are fuqaha to give us proper opinion, despite their diversity, that they're true and proper. And we recognize that to make a munkar, you have to know that it's a munkar. 
You have to believe that there's a benefit in doing it and that the benefit is greater than harm that might come about from attacking the munkar and that the munkar is mujma'alay, that all the ulama are in agreement about it. A lot of people don't know those rules. But those are the rules that the ulama have given us. But a lot of people don't know those rules. There's a time when you shouldn't condemn a munkar because it'll lead to a fitna greater than what you're condemning. And you have...